Yo guys, welcome back to another Danmachi Memoria Freeze video and yes, we now have info on the Winter Every Part 2. I'm over here on the Danmachi Memoria Freeze Twitter and as you can see, it says, well, my face wasn't in the way, it says clearing very hard to get 400 iris. I'm assuming that means that whatever boss we're going to be against is either like ridiculously difficult. Um or not but as you can see it doesn't seem like the um the bell that they teased is going to be a free-to-play unit it, it looks like it's gonna have it be another banner but what we're gonna do is just gonna click through the images here so i'm over on the other screen there we go heroic trials <clears throat> yep so this pretty much proves that the bell will not be free to play you know if it were the case then whatever missions would have come next you would have got the bonds for the bell during the missions but it doesn't seem to be that way uh events ending this week familiar war that's not eu because for some reason they're not releasing familiar war just yet for the eu server uh limited time 100 iris specials i hope you guys uh, picked up that at least a couple of times it's definitely it was definitely worth the money uh, war game training that means that war the official war game is probably going to start for us oh uh sorry let me just go back um the her current heroic trials so make sure you at least got one bond for whoever you needed here i'm a bit bummed out that i couldn't find the ryu um on the banner uh, on the heroic trial there the free daily varlis quest it will be coming to an end soon but there's a reason for that we still will be getting another um daily quest to do but Okay, um, Winter Every Part 2 starts on the 5th of this month, so what's that? Two days, you have two days until Winter Every 2 starts. Uh, Whale Bundles, New Heroic Trials, yeah we just went over there. Winter Strike Part 2, uh, uh, New Record Buster starts, that's great. The CP Up Item Quest, I assume that's going to replace the uh, current Varlis Quest that we, we have. Uh, Familiar Rush... Season 11 starts on the 12th. Ultimate War Game starts on the 12th. Uh, season 1, I think that that's a new game mode, apparently. I hope that the EU server gets it at the same time as everyone else. Uh, we can only hope. <laughs> uh, all times are posted in JST. So it'll probably be... Um, for EU specifically, it will probably be at Daily Reset, which is at 3pm GMT. Um, so, yeah, that is that no no more all right so then we come over here on to uh, if i can get my mouse over there over to the Dunmachi facebook page where they have more uh images to to images to share right okay sorry i'm on two monitors here <laughs> okay so we have the uh overall holy tail banner uh that is the oh wow wow i'm not even gonna try and pronounce that but that actually looks amazing I'm pretty sure I need her for research purposes. <laughs> Just joking, I'm joking. Subaki, she looks great. All of these characters look amazing. They um, okay, Ryu could have looked better, I think, but she looks good. Just not as bad as the others. Version nine point two point two will launch and uh, will bring a lot of quality of life changes, including this and the new user uh, new user interface when selecting characters. They have added a draw 10 function so you can like stack up your free star tickets and then just do 10 uh, and instead of getting a single you've basically done a multi <laughs> weapon related abilities okay i like this yeah okay uh, that's a long time coming i don't think it's going to be retroactive uh, at all so i think from here on maybe they will do it every now and then i don't think they'll do it for every character strength plus 30 percent when equipped with l sword of course, uh, Winter Reverie Part 2 brings more whale bundles. And uh, Holy Trials, Record Buster, CPU Air. This is the uh, image, the same image they use for like the Valis Quest or the Hero Fauna Quest. So yeah, we'll be probably, yeah, once a day. It says right there in the top corner. Uh, defeat a rare enemy for even more rewards, which means you have a chance of dropping even better rewards. Okay, that's fine. Uh, familiar Rush, will to be, uh, will to be. <laughs> uh we'll be starting soon war games will be starting soon like i said events ending yep okay right so that's everything else covered but 
We're going to jump over to the Tech Fam Discord now, where uh, Gail Raya and the Tech Fam group over there have uh, released a sneak peek and a bit of info on the units that will be coming with these banners. Okay, guys, we're back over here on the Tech Fam Discord once again. Big shout out to Gail Raya and everyone over at the Tech Fam Discord for uh, posting this news. Uh, pretty much on the hour that they were released or well these uh are in japanese obviously and been translated but you know you get the idea uh, it's a, a big shout out and a thank you so we're gonna come over here we have the same image you can see again just in japanese finish it on very hard for 400 iris and uh, we have the new belt uh time limited unit you can see he's a water unit at the very least just by the animation anyway so special attack uh aoe ultra water physical attack with ultra on guard with a temporary strength boost for three turns self strength agility water damage plus 85 percent okay he's gonna hit hard he's <laughs> he hits aoe but he's gonna hit really hard okay uh skill one aoe fast low water physical attack with ultra uncounter for two turns uh foes strength magic and agility minus 30 percent okay that's pretty sweet um then we have super water physical attack with ultra on guard temporary strength boost removes foes strength magic strength and magic buffs buffs excluding assist skills okay okay so he removes buffs that's pretty sweet Mm, skill free strength high water physical attack with ultra penetration with temporary strength boost cleanses ailments okay i like it so he's going to be putting out a lot of damage and he's going to be sort of a support type as well uh, okay i like that that's pretty sweet okay we move on to aisha sorry <laughs> i was just looking at the work there yeah, she, okay i do like this her whoa okay if i can just move my fat head out of the way me just shrink this down for you guys that's bell all right <laughs> okay um physical attacker uh, okay i mean her stats are not in not crazy incredible but she's what 44 away from 2k physical attack that's pretty that's something in itself i suppose uh special attack uh ultra uh physical attack for each strength bust bust <laughs> buff on stealth you can see the uh, artwork has affected me a little bit <laughs> uh ultra uh, physical attack for each strength buff on self skill damage plus 8 percent for one turn uh and strength resist on foes minus 25 percent. okay that's pretty sweet I, I wouldn't say it's amazing it um it's something uh, <laughs> let's put it that way okay skill one slow low earth physical attack with high on guard for two turns self strength and earth damage plus 70 percent that okay so she gives herself a 70 percent boost on f strength and her element type that's crazy crazy skill two fast mid earth physical attack with high penetration removes strength buffs excluding assist skill okay it removes strength buffs from foes, I assume, even though it's not printed there. Uh, skill 3. Slow super earth physical attack for each strength buff on self. Skill damage plus 8%. After using a skill, removes self strength buff. Self strength buff excluding assist skills. Wait, so she removes the skill from herself after... Okay, uh, she removes the buffs from herself, sorry, after using the skill passive counter with earth strength. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Subaku. I do like this artwork. Gotta love an eye patch. Love me an eye patch. <laughs> okay, so special attack. AoE ultra water physical attack with ultra critical rate, temporary strength boost, allies magic null times one. So they she nullifies one magic attack with a, a her um special attack. So far considering the meta on eu she is the one so far that i would go for as well as the bell so that's two out of three so far that i would say yeah we you try and get them uh obviously when the banners come out i will do a should you summon video after reviewing them where we at uh skill two aoe fast high water physical attack with ultra uncounter allies plus 50 percent magic nullification all right okay so she it will she's partially like a support type ish as well which is cool um okay skill free 
Fire water physical attack with ultra on guard for each physical resist on foe. Skill damage plus 35%. Passive counter with water plus 50% damage to one. Okay, she's got worm killer. Okay, <laughs> fire. Okay, on the last one we have Ryu. Uh, I won't. I will say that none of their stats in like they have like. They each have like one stat that stands out compared to the rest, but none of the other stats really scream that they're that strong. So some of these units could this this banner these banners could potentially be a skip and just save up for the collab banners. But like I said, I'll do a should you summon video when the banners are released. Uh, okay, so Ryu special attack AOE Ultra. I'm surprised that all four of these are adventurers. Sorry, just getting sidetracked. Like there's no assists. <clears throat> Uh, special attack, ultra earth magic attack with ultra on guard, temporary magic boost for one turn, foes magic and earth resist minus 35%. What I am seeing is that all of these pretty much mesh well together, which I suppose is a given considering they're releasing at the same time. Skill one, fast, allies slow resist plus 100%, guard and physical resist and magic resist plus 25% for four turns. Okay, so she's, she is like the solid support. <laughs> Uh, AoE fast high earth magic attack. She is a magic attacker, which is very hard to get a magic team together. So maybe try and get a copy of her. But we're jumping ahead here. I'll save it for the should you summon video. Um, skill two fast high magic attack for two turns. Foes dex ma magic and earth resist minus twenty five percent. So the increases ally resistance by twenty five and lowers enemy resistances by twenty five. Sweet skill free high earth magic attack with ultra penetration for each magic resist debuff on foe skill damage plus 35 percent passive counter with earth physical and magic resist plus 15 okay so okay i'm not seeing anything too crazy the artwork on a, most of them are, is amazing i do like that but i'm not seeing anything too crazy from their skills and this is the stuff we went over before there's going to be a uh version update on the game the new uh new box system uh multi summons on free star tickets and weapon abilities anything else no okay guys so that basically wraps up everything on the update coming out in two days time oh sorry let me set up got breaking the new chair <laughs> um anyway guys Make sure to drop a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you haven't. Make sure to follow me on Twitter. The link will be in the description. If you want to join my community, the link to my Discord will be in the description. And as always, guys, I'll catch you later.